Welcome to What's the Difference Between a List and a Dictionary? Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in the comment section below, uh, I guess that was last week's video, actually. That's the reason this is uh, fresh in mind. Uh, there was a question about something unclear I did in that video, because I created a dictionary, a variable, uh, type dictionary, but then I called it a list in the name, and that was uh, my bad. But the question that came out of this was kind of interesting. So, what is the difference between a um, a list and a dictionary? And that's uh, that's what we we're going to look at in this uh, in this video. And I think the best way of doing this is just you know straight into some code so we can we can talk about it um so we get from uh and, and actually in the video i talked a lot about a hash table uh and when it comes to computer science there are there is a few data structures that are close to universal that you always uh need on some sort of a, and uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about those. So the first one is actually a list. So let I will I'll create a list, and then I will call it list. So uh, and, and and what is a list? Well, a list is what in the olden days of computing, also sometimes was known as a linked list mean that if we had a um and i'll just do something in the text here so we had uh, data one and um and data one was a structure then we could link that to data two that's also a structure and we could link that to data three uh, and and that to data four and and it could be a reverse link so if if so basically data one contained a pointer to where data two is and data two has a pointer to data three and data three has a pointer to data four. Um, and and it could also be be reversed. So so you have a, a pointer back. So if you were at data three, you could also get a pointer to data two and so on. Um, and very common way of of managing uh, data in memory. Um, so let's say we needed to uh, let's say we need to add something, right? So we we updated data four, we allocated the memory for data five, uh, and then we updated data five with the address of data four, and we updated data four with the address of data five. So they're linked, they're double linked. Or oh, if we only care about one uh, way, then we only update uh, when we create data five, we update data four with a link to data five. If we were going to delete data three, then the only thing we would have to do is grab data two and, and update that with the pointer for data four. Then get rid of data three memory, of course. So that's a linked list, and in basically what we have in AL, the list here is exactly this. So what I can do with the list now, I create a list of text. So the text is the uh, the data in question. I can go list, and then I can say add, and we can see that that adds to the end of the list. So this is uh, now we can call it data one right, and then we. To list add data two, and now data one is is linked to data two. Um, on top of this, uh, so this is a, a evolved version of the very simple linked list I talked about. Because how do we address this? So if we go go uh, here, let me just create the scenario we had in Go. So we have these five, right? So behind the scene, the list has a, a index sitting. So 
the so with five entries from one, two, three, four, five. So we can do if we do message and then we see the list dot get three. Let's run that just for for the fun of it. Then we can get directed to, to data three. Uh, but the only way to, to, if we don't know what index it has, then our only way is to traverse this data and look for data three. And this is where it gets interesting because then you you have something, let's see what it's, uh, No, you don't. This is the only on dictionaries. So, so yeah. So, so a list is a list is a list. Um, and and uh, a list is. I I was just working on something else where I actually used the list again, and this time I used the list as a queue. Uh, and what I wanted to do is basically do a. Uh, a FIFO based queue, meaning that if I want, I'm always add to the end of the list, uh, and then I will consume from the list. So I will consume the very first entry, meaning that I could grab to list dot get one that will give me whatever entry is first. Um, so let's actually let's actually do that. So so if we do message list.get first and then we'll do list.remove and here is a danger where you can say remove value but that is not necessarily very performant because it will it will run through it uh, but you can say remove at one and then we can say do list get one again so now we we and, and in the meantime we might have actually done list dot add data six here so if we do this we get data one then we remove data one we add data six and then we get data two so that's how simple it is to actually build a queue in memory uh you can add or stack or whatever you want you can add stuff to it and you grab from the top um you can in you know you can uh inspect it and so on so that is a list um and um no that's a great uh great thing but the other one is a dictionary and dictionary is a complete different animal um, it's way more complex so we call it dig it's way more complicated so dictionary off and now you have to give it two uh, two types one is the index type um, and and maybe we'll just do code 20 and then you know the payload here could be text also so this is a dictionary and the dictionary what we can do with that is on some of it looks slightly the same so we can do list dot add one data one sorry not list dictionary there you, there you go and and now we can't really do one because we told that was a code and so but we let we let's do something like this then and we'll, we'll add some data into this. So the way this works now is that the dictionary will actually build what is known as a hash table. Meaning that one, and, and you know when, when we're working with cryptation and so on, we have the SHA-256 and uh, all those different hash tables that will take a piece of data calculator has uh, it's basically the same thing that's happening here but it's a much faster uh, and 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 not 
crypto level hashing that has it. It's hashing for performance, not hashing for security. And it's hashing to reduce collisions. So what actually happens behind the scene is that there is a, there is a hash table and the, the hash table um, controls uh, all the keys here and then it points to a data. But that's actually not true. What it actually points to is almost like a list. Because if there is collision, so if you have two keys that gives the same hash value, then they do point to the same thing. So that the thing they actually point to is a list behind the scene. And then in that case, that's now a list of uh, where yeah, we can go look up and see, oh, this key is this data and this key is that data. Um, so that's perhaps an implementation detail, but it means that the dictionary will enable us to do something like, um, and now these are actually, so let's call this something else. Let's call this, uh, customer something and something else and ABC one two three and uh, and uh, right so so what the dictionary can do is is now we can do dictionary and let's do a message here again message dictionary dot get and then we'll get uh, YouTube. Oops. Let's see if we can run this. We got data five. That seems right. So, and it doesn't really matter how many entries you put in to uh, in into this uh, retrieval of keys are as fast as you can get it on on a computer in with something stored in memory um but there are some some downsides to the dictionary so dictionary is super super great um and what we used it for in in the other uh, video was to see if we have seen a customer or not so we just needed to know if we've seen something so we're basically we don't even care about about the data side of things that in that case i think i created a dictionary of, of boolean because then boolean is almost the smallest thing we can uh, allocate um, but we don't care we only cared if there was a key or not a key and that's that is super super fast but there is no sorting in a dictionary because the sorting is is the hash and the hash is not anything that makes any sense so we can, there are some commands, and that this is where dictionaries can be um, be weird, right? We can get a list of the keys. Um, and, and that's very convenient in, in, in some case, uh, but it, it, it's still not a sorted and ordered in any way. These are just the keys. Um, we can also get a list of values. Um, and the only guarantee here is that the list of values and the list of keys are in the same order. So I find myself using the dictionary way more than I use the list, uh, especially if I, I'm, I'm collecting something and I need to use it at a, at a later stage. Uh, but that can also be a uh, be a list, but if I need to make a lookup for value in into the data structure, it has to be the dictionary. That is only one that will do lookups in scale, uh, where it doesn't matter if you have a million entries or five. The speed to look up a uh, a key is basically the same. So th the only of I you know the the classic data structures here that is that in we could have 
and 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 there's probably Microsoft saying, ah, you can just use a dictionary. Um, if you were in C sharp, you could also just create declare has table uh, of uh, like do something like this. Of course, we can't hear, but that will basically be a dictionary. Has table is the same as a dictionary without uh, a, a data payload. It's still backed up by a list behind the scene because there will still still can happen uh, collisions. Uh, so behind the scene, these are almost implemented by the by the same structure. The hash table does just don't carry data around. So if you if you're looking at large scale, you're on a store million entries. Even with boolean, that means you use at least uh, and with alignment, you probably use at least four megabytes of RAM to uh, to store that. Um, maybe that's fine. Maybe it's not. Um, but those are the list and dictionary. Let me know in the com comments below if this was, was clear enough. If not, I'm totally prepared to do one more on these because I think this is a, one of the most important additions to uh, to the A language in uh, in modern times, together with the JSON stuff. Which interesting dog. Do you know what structures? Bonus. Hey, hey, bonus. Uh, so if we declare a JSON object, right? What is a JSON object? Well, let me, so JSON objects, so what I can do here, let, let's actually, so let me do this and, and this. Now the, the get doesn't work uh, because the get, I need to do get text, then it works. So you can see that in reality, a JSON object is just a dictionary with some bells and whistles and on, on and that the data type, data, the payload can be something different. So in some cases, it's actually better to use a JSON object than a dictionary because then you are more free to uh to store data in in, in the different part of um, of the um, of the data structure and the same thing that if you have you know the list is basically the same as, as a json array right um so if we go here and then we do list dot then we can see that this is very close to the exact same functions as we have on the list because behind the scene, the JSON array is implemented with something that looks kind of like a list and the JSON object is implemented with something that looks kind of like a dictionary. That's a bit of bonus content. Uh, check this out. It's a good video, and there might even also be bonus content in that one. But at least there will be ale hacking. I'm sure of that. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.